The walk starts from Chelsea Station. Now entering the first footpath of the walk. Now heading towards St Mary's Church, Chelsea, along a path beside the Chelsea to Wallingford railway line. This closed to passenger traffic in 1959 and to all traffic in 1981. It now runs steam services as a preserved line at certain times throughout the year. And there's a great view of St Mary's Church, Chelsea. It was founded over a thousand years ago, but largely rebuilt in the 12th century and again restored in the 19th century. The famous crime writer Agatha Christie is buried in the churchyard. After the church, there's a trudge along a road and then the walk follows this path through a field of oilseed rape. At least there seems to be a clear path. Further on, there's a respite from the oilseed rape, although there looks like there's more to come. And that's the way ahead. But over there, there's a view of Whittenham Clumps. It's a bit hazy today and overcast. And over there, there's a view of Didcot Power Station. The walk heads along this field edge. The walk goes through this tunnel under the main London South Wales Railway. Now in South Morton, there's the Crown Inn. St John the Baptist Church, South Morton. The church dates from mostly the 13th and 14th centuries. The walk crosses this footbridge and style. And now there's a much better view of St John the Baptist Church, South Morton. It's become a bit clearer and there are some reasonable views over to my left. As you can see, there's another rape field to my left. And that's the way ahead beside the stream. The path crosses this narrow field. The walk crosses this footbridge over Hill Brook. I'm now heading for East Hagbourne Village. Now following a clear bridleway, heading towards East Hagbourne. And there's the war memorial and the stump of a medieval cross called Lower Cross at East Hagbourne. And that's the sign with the village name on. The Fleur de Lis pub, East Hagbourne. There's the large medieval cross known as Upper Cross. And there's a view of St Andrew's Church, East Hagbourne. By the way, the villages of East and West Hagbourne, and West Hagbourne is where I'm headed next, were once joined together, but all the houses between this church and West Hagbourne were destroyed in the Great Fire of Hagbourne in 1659. Another great view of St Andrew's Church, East Hagbourne. Approaching West Hagbourne, the walk goes under this embankment of a disused railway. West Hagbourne Village Pond, covered in algae.
The walk recrosses the disused railway embankment by a different tunnel. St Mary's Church in the hamlet of Upton. It was built between the 11th and 12th centuries and restored in 1885. By the way, the disused railway that we've crossed twice was the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton railway. It closed in 1962. Inside St Mary's Church at Upton. Do you want any light? No, it's all right, thanks. And now heading towards the village of Blueberry. That's the way ahead. Further along the path, decent views open up ahead. And that's the way ahead towards Blueberry Village. Now in Blueberry Village, here's St Michael's Church, which has Saxon origins, but, but was rebuilt in the 11th century. Blueberry was once home to Kenneth Graham, author of Wind in the Willows. Inside St Michael's Church, Blueberry. There's a view ahead to Blue Burton Hill, Iron Age Hill Fort. It was abandoned during the Roman period and then used as a cemetery by the Anglo-Saxons afterwards. That's the way ahead. Some of the ramparts of Blue Burton Hill, Iron Age Hill Fort. Great view from the top of Blue Burton Hill. There's Whitnam Clump. Blueberry Village. Now heading towards the village of Aston Upthorpe with great views ahead. Can I remind you that today is the date of the general election in Britain? All Saints Church, Aston Upthorpe, built on Saxon foundations. Evidence of the general election in Aston Upthorpe. The United Reformed Church in the village of Aston Tyrold, which is next to the village of Aston Upthorpe. The United Reformed Church was built in 1728. St Michael's Church, Aston Tyrold, which dates back to the 11th century. The noise in the background is dreaded lawnmowers. Inside St Michael's Church, Aston Tyrold. Now on the final leg, back to Chelsea. That's the way ahead. Further along the Bridleway, heading back to Chelsea Station. And now back at Chelsea Station, and the end of today's walk.